Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll go ahead and call this uh, meeting to order of the City of Jasper Planning and Zoning Commission. Or just Planning Commission, not zoning. <laughs> um, all right. Um, Mr. Uh, Jones, if you wouldn't mind uh, leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this point, I'll entertain a motion to adopt the agenda. I'll motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Motion carries. The agenda is adopted. Um, all right. Looking at our minutes from our April 23rd meeting, um, are there any corrections to those to those minutes that anyone can see or need to make? I have not noted anyone else. Motion to approve as written. Okay. I have a motion to approve. Do I have a second? A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. The April 23rd minutes are, are approved. All right. Starting off item number one, uh, Ms. Gelker. Good evening, Planning Commission. My name is Kim Holder. I'm the Assistant City Manager here at Jasper, and I am filling in for Mary Elizabeth Burgess while she is out for a few more days. So, um, Item number one is an old business item. Uh, this was continued from a previous meeting due to some advertisement um, corrections that we needed to make. And what this involves is a request actually by the city of Jasper to annex parcel ID 053A092, which is located at 490 Liberty Lane, consisting of 0.84 acres to be rezoned from county's highway business to city M1 general industry. So you can see on your map and on your packets uh, the, the shot from Q Public, which shows this is uh, kind of an irregular long skinny parcel that runs along 515. Again, the lot area is 0.84 acres. There are public utilities in terms of water along Liberty Lane. Uh, this property is on a septic tank. It is, has frontage on a public way, about 400 feet on Liberty Lane. And what is on that parcel currently is our elevated water tank that we refer to as the Liberty Tower. There is also uh, a couple of storage sheds on there that the city keeps some, some items. Um, we currently are storing some equipment, things like that. There. And then there's also a cabin um, all on this one parcel. So the surrounding uses, if you look to the south, it is highway business. There is a storage building. Uh, to the west, there is just highway frontage, there is an old abandoned concrete plant, and then additional storage all around it. Uh, so the staff analysis for annexation and rezoning, Liberty Tank is a vital part of the city's infrastructure and therefore it is not a burden on the existing system and the city would like to go ahead and have that be a part of city limits. Uh, highway business to general industry is an appropriate use due to the locations of the fabricators, the dormant cement plant, and other industrial uses that essentially surround this parcel. Staff recommendation is approval with conditions. The first motion would be to approve annexation into the city of Jasper with the condition that all future development will follow all applicable rules and regulations. And then a second motion to approve rezoning from highway business to M1 general industry with the condition that all future development will follow all applicable rules and regulations. So I guess I don't have any questions. I'm surprised it wasn't already in the city, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, any other uh, questions, uh, comments? Right. At this point, I would entertain a, a motion. Um, 
I would suggest just to adopt, oh, I guess we got to approve the annexation first and then approve rezoning. Um, so I would entertain that first motion to approve the annexation at this time. Um, I'll move. Okay. I have a second. A second. All right. So, um, all in favor to approve the annexation of the city of Jasper with the condition that all future development will follow all applicable rules and regulations. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Motion carries. All right. And do we have a motion to approve this uh, rezoning from Highway Business to NY? Motion. All right. I'll second. All right. All right. All in favor of a uh, motion to approve rezoning from Highway Business to M1 General Industry with, all, with the condition that all future development will follow all applicable rules and regulations. Say aye. 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 Motion carries. Excellent. Thank all you. Right. So the next two items are related. Uh, we will treat them independently because they have different parcel ID numbers, but it is essentially the same property. New business item number one is to discuss a request by the owner, again, the City of Jasper, for parcel JA03040, which is located at 852 Pioneer Road, consisting of a total of 0.89 acres, to be rezoned from R1 Low Density Residential to M1 General Industry. So this property is actually where our line maintenance building or water operations building is. Our, our water wastewater crews operate out of this building. It has a large parcel behind it, which we will discuss in item number two. Uh, the lot area is 0.89 acres. There are public utilities in this area. It has frontage on two roads, 65 feet on Pioneer Road and 215 feet on Frontier Road. And as I mentioned, this is used as our water and wastewater utility operations or line maintenance building is how we refer to it. The surrounding uses around here, they, there are uh, so residential use. You'll see to the east, it is R1 residential low density. Um, there is to the north as well. And then you have general commercial uh, C2 to the south and M1 light industry in Cochran's cabinet shop to the west. The staff analysis is that our comprehensive plan supports all institutional uses and locations. This property happens to abut other manufacturing and light industrial areas. And this site has been used as our water and sewer operations building uh, for over 40 years. This is really to just correct a zoning error. So staff recommendation is to approve rezoning from R1 low density residential to M1 general industry with the condition that all future development will meet and follow all applicable rules and regulations. Uh, I guess I would like to do this in the last one, but is, do we have anyone to, that would like to um, offer any comment from the public? Um, all right. uh, hearing none, okay. seems like it makes sense. It seems like we should have a conforming <laughs> use in the city of Jasper for it. Honestly, it's so. different bag than the across from my house currently. <laughs> yeah. I, I would have already thought that it was zoned appropriately. So. Yeah. yeah. So, this, like I said, just to correct an error. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, any further comment, any additional comment from the board? Um, hearing none, I, I would entertain a, a, a recommendation uh, to either approve or deny. I'll move to approve. I'll second. Um, all, right. all in favor of uh, approving the rezoning from R1, low density residential, to M1 general industry, with the condition that all future development will follow all applicable rules and regulations, say aye. 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 All right. the motion carries. Excellent. Thank you. So the second half of this request, um, item number two is discuss a request by the owner, again, the city of Jasper for parcel JA03041, located on Frontier Road, consisting of a total of 4.0 acres to be rezoned from R1 low density residential to M1 general industry. So you'll notice from Hugh Public, um, the parcel that we previously were talking about is the one directly underneath the highlighted blue area. This is the larger acreage parcel, four acres. 
This again is owned by the city of Jasper and it is directly behind our building for line maintenance operations. This is their yard where they store equipment, they store dirt, rock, all of those things that they may need in the course of construction and repair of our facilities. Uh, there are no public utilities back on that portion of the property and there is frontage on a public road through access through Pioneer Road. So you have to come through the parking lot to the line maintenance building to get back to that area. That is the only access point. So surrounding uses to the north, uh, that is residential low density, it is vacant. Uh, to the east, there is residential low density and that is city owned property. To the south was the property that, the building that we just spoke on, the property that you was, uh, the one that is 0.89 acres. And then over to the west, there is a petroleum distribution center and that is zoned C2. So staff analysis again is the comprehensive plan supports all institutional uses and locations. This area abuts other manufacturing and light industrial areas. And again, this yard has been used in conjunction with the line maintenance building in this capacity for over 40 years. So staff's recommendation is to approve rezoning from R1 local low density residential to M1 general industry with the condition that all future development will follow all applicable rules and regulations. Uh, any additional comment from the public? Hearing none. Um, any comment, any questions, concerns regarding this from the uh, commission? Uh, I, I would entertain a motion to approve or disapprove. A motion to approve. Um, I'll second. <laughs> All right. All in favor uh, of, to approve rezoning from R1 low density residential to M1 general industry with the condition that all future development will follow and all applicable rules uh, will follow all applicable rules and regulations. Say aye. 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 All right. All right. Motion carries. It's approved. approved. Thank you. Um, all right. So before we adjourn, was there anyone that wanted to discuss uh, item number one in the old business uh, previously? All right. Just so want to make sure. Yeah. So at this time, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.